is from www.makemegenius.com. If you want to see more science videos, go to www.makemegenius.com. Oh, yeah, it is free. Hey, man, can you please stop it? Can I ask you a question? Do you want to be a rock star? Did you know you can become a rock star in your school without playing rock music? Yes, you can become a rock star without playing rock music. Do you have a chapter in your school on rocks? Very good. So, if you know about rocks, you can become a rock star in your class. Am I right or wrong? Okay. Now, let's make you a rock star. Are you ready? First of all, please note there are three types of rocks. Igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, and metamorphic rocks. Now, we will learn how these rocks are formed. Let me tell you a secret. If you know the meaning of igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic, then understanding the formation of rocks becomes very easy. Let's first learn about igneous rocks. To understand igneous rocks, let's first know the meaning of igneous. Igneous means resulting from or produced from fire. To understand it further, let's first understand the volcano. Inside the Earth's core, there are a lot of molten metals and minerals. These melt due to very hot temperatures inside the Earth. The melted material is called magma. It puts a lot of pressure on Earth's surface. Sometimes Earth's surface breaks and this magma comes out. When it comes out, it is called lava. Some of the magma can't come out and it settles inside the Earth. Whatever magma cools inside under the surface of the Earth changes into granite. It is a kind of igneous rock. The lava, which comes out and gets in touch with air, cools down faster. This cooled down lava forms basalt rocks. Basalt rocks are also igneous rocks. So, there are two main types of igneous rocks. Ones that are formed when magma comes out, which are basalt, and others when magma cools down under the surface of the earth. These are granite rocks. Now, let's move on to the second type of rocks. These are called sedimentary rocks. The word sedimentary means made from sediments, which is material that settles to the bottom of a liquid. Oh, very good. You are carrying a few stones and a glass of water. Put these stones in the glass. See these settle down? This settled down material is called sediment. It is a perfect example of how sedimentary rocks are formed. Let's understand more. Sedimentary rocks are formed by layers of sediment. Sediment is comprised of small parts of rocks, as well as dead animals or plants, which have been eroded by strong winds and a strong flow of water in rivers and glaciers. Most of these particles ultimately reach the sea. These get deposited on the seabed. As more and more of these particles settle on each other, they press each other and compression happens. The sediments at the bottom change into sedimentary rocks. This process takes thousands of years. Sedimentary rocks have very clearly different layers. These are known as beds or bedding planes. Limestone and chalk are two kinds of sedimentary rocks. The type of sedimentary rock formed depends upon the sediments that get compressed during the formation of these rocks. For example, limestone is formed by the compression of skeletons and shells of marine animals in the sea. Sandstone is formed by the compression of sand. You know that coal is also a sedimentary rock. It is formed by the compression of dead trees and plants, which are also called fossils. Now, let's learn about the third type of rock. These are called metamorphic rocks. Let's again focus on names. Metamorphic is derived from the word morph, which means to be transformed or to change. Yes, you understood right. Metamorphic rocks are changed forms of igneous and sedimentary rocks. Metamorphic rocks are formed when other types of rocks are changed due to a lot of heat or pressure. See in this picture, 
a lot of heat from molten magma and a lot of pressure from upper layers is causing a few of the sedimentary rocks to change. Marble and slate are two types of metamorphic rocks. Marble is formed when limestone, which is a sedimentary rock, comes under a lot of pressure from above. Similarly, slate is formed when clay is changed by heat and pressure. <laughs> so now you have become a rock star. For that, you need to learn one more secret. But do you want to become a rocking rock star? You should know that rocks keep changing from one form to another. Look at this picture. Magma changes into igneous rocks by melting and cooling. Igneous rocks break apart due to erosion and weather, and they turn into small sediments. These sediments then get compressed due to pressure and form sedimentary rocks. These sedimentary rocks get changed into metamorphic rocks again by heat and pressure. Now, these metamorphic rocks change into magma due to heat inside the earth. This way, the cycle continues. going to www.makemegenius.com for science videos. <clears throat> it also has lots of interesting facts and PowerPoint presentations for children. 